Hey guys, it's me again, and we're here today doing a oh, hauler. There we go, doing a highlighting and contouring video. So I'm starting off by pinning that weave back, girl, because you know that we be getting in the way. So we're pinning it back, and then we are gonna start off with some. If you ever get that pin in, Jesus. Okay, we got it. We're gonna start off with concealer, and this is Max Pro Longwear NC Blade 20, and I'm gonna use a beauty sponge to be blending that out. And I'm just gonna dab this under the eye area, a little bit on the tops of the cheek. I'm gonna do a little bit on my forehead, bridge of the nose, and chin. And I'm just gonna go in with the beauty um, sponge. You can get a beauty blender. Beauty blenders are amazing, but mine's looking a little dingy. So I use this one today. Um, I just find these things are just so amazing and they just really just push that product in. And unlike a brush, it can kind of just move it around, not really setting it where I want it to. Because um, you gotta think, I, I've moisturized my face, I've primed my face because I have foundation on so you do have to do your foundation you don't have to but I like to I like a full coverage so I did my foundation first and I'm layering on a lot of products so whenever you do highlighting contouring you want to make sure you have a good primer and a good moisturizer on because it's a lot of makeup girl so on daily basis I do do a little bit of contouring you know every day because I'm just used to doing it but um, I don't really like to do cream contouring too often unless it's a special occasion and right here I'm using the L'Oreal True Match um, crayon concealer and I'm just gonna do the hollows of my cheeks and um, I'm not gonna do the bridge of my nose but I am gonna do the forehead area and I'm gonna do my jawline area um, I find that this one is very um, this L'Oreal True Match is very easy to blend out. I've had tried the like Fit Me sticks and um, I believe it's Fit Me or Maybelline. I find that's a little bit thicker of a consistency. Um, I, that's good if you just are strictly going to use um, liquids and creams. Um, but I am going to go in with a powder. If you've watched other videos, they always go in with a powder and just to really deep set it in because when you blend it in, it's, it's not as noticeable as I would like it to be. So here I'm just gonna blend it in, as you can see, with a stippling brush. So when contouring your forehead, be careful not to put too much product on there. I've been noticing a lot on YouTube and on Instagram that a lot of people are putting so much contour into their forehead and temple area that it's extremely noticeable and I can always tell when someone's contoured their face because I can totally tell that they contoured their temples. So this is totally optional, but I am just doing it for the sake of the video and um, if this was a special occasion type of thing. This is MAC's um, Prep and Prime Light Boost and it's just like another bit of a highlighter. It really, really brightens up your face. Um, and I'm just going to go in where initially I put the first concealer on. And um, this is not a concealer, might I add to you. Someone asked me if it was. And I guess you could use it if you didn't have an under eye problem area. It just brightens up your face. And um, that's, why, that's why it's called Light Boost, right? Right. And I'm just going to go and reapply that where I had put the concealer in. And um, down the bridge of the nose, the chin, and right under the contour area. Because if you have too much of that brown it can look like a shadow and you're not trying to make a shadow like you got a beard girl okay we're trying to make it look like the hollows of the cheek are more noticeable not that you got a beard going on so now that i'm done with liquids i'm going in with powder now um it's preference really what you like to use as a contour powder i recommend the hula one in the anastasia beverly hills um contour palette is really great hula one has a really good brush to do contour as you can see it really gets in there and um 
but it's really subtle it's not orangey it's just an amazing bronzer really Marianne really you're still with the fish face to me it's the easiest way to find the hollows on my cheeks uh, everyone has their face that they make uh, mine's is a fish one and um, apparently I'm kind of stuck in it <laughs> I think the most time consuming thing about contouring and highlighting is the actual um, blending part just because you don't want no harsh lines and you really want it to obviously blend in and try to make it look as natural as possible since you're using a totally light and a totally dark color on your face. So just be patient with it. So I'm just going to get a little bit of the product and put it on a little bit of a fluffy brush. Uh, this is a concealer brush actually. And um, just do a little bit on my nose. Um, nothing too too crazy because I don't really like to contour my nose. And then going in with a fluffy brush and just, um, you know, brushing it all out. Making sure there's no harsh lines or anything. Alrighty, with a tapered brush, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia palette with those first two colors and mix them up a little. I'm going to set that concealer and that light boost just so it won't move around because products tend to move around when you don't set them with powder. Now I'm going to pick up the highlighter color. It is one of my favorite ones right now and it just reflects off the light amazingly and you're just going to go in um, the tops of your cheeks bridge of the nose chin and a little bit on the forehead area just whatever's left on the brush the forehead area because this stuff reflects like crazy um, and just blend it out Now it's time for some blush and you know I'm gonna go in with Melba. Yeah, I just did that. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on, nothing too too crazy, but just to brighten up the face and add some more color to it and mainly the apples of the cheeks and just blend it out. And I'm just gonna go back in with this fluffy brush and blend it out because you already know we're not about the lines, right? No way, Jose. BAM! We're done! Alright, time to let that weave out. Ooh, girl. Can you get it down or not? Because you had a hard time getting it up there. Oh, there you go. There's one. And... Oh, that one was easier. Two. There you go. So that's it for the highlighting and contouring and how I do it. I think it's easy to do. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Till next time. Bye!